Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find equivalent fractions using models. Now remember, equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same amount, the same part of a whole. Let's jump into number one, where we have two squares that are the same size, but each square is divided into a different number of equal parts. Now we can see that the same amount of each square is shaded in. These squares represent equivalent fractions. So let's write these fractions out. We'll start with the square on the left. The square on the left was divided into one, two equal parts. So two is our denominator. One of the parts is shaded in. So one is our numerator. One half of the square is shaded. So this square is representing one half. The other square was divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. So eight is our denominator. And then one, two, three, four parts are shaded in. So four is our numerator. Four eighths of that square is shaded in. So the square on the right is representing four eighths. Now going back to what we talked about earlier, we can see that the same amount of each square has been shaded in, the same part of the whole square. So one half and four eighths are equivalent fractions. And we can write that out by putting an equal sign in between the fractions. Let's move on to number two, where we have two rectangles that are the same size. And we can see that the same amount of each rectangle is shaded in. But each of those rectangles has been divided into a different number of equal parts. So we're going to have equivalent fractions here. Let's write out those equivalent fractions and we will start with the rectangle on the left. It's been divided into one, two, three equal parts. So three is our denominator. And then one, two parts are shaded in. So two is our numerator. Two thirds of that rectangle is shaded. So that rectangle is representing two thirds. Now, as far as the rectangle on the right, that's been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So six is our denominator and one, two, three, four parts have been shaded in. So four is our numerator. So four sixths of that rectangle is shaded in. That rectangle is representing four sixths. That means that two thirds and four sixths are equivalent fractions. Next, let's move on to number three, where we have two circles. Now the same amount of each circle has been shaded in. So we're going to have equivalent fractions here. Let's write those out. We'll start with the circle on the left. This circle has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. So eight is our denominator. One, two, three, four, five, six parts have been shaded in. So six is our numerator. That circle is representing six eighths. Now the circle on the right has been divided into one, two, three, four equal parts. So four is our denominator. And then one, two, three of those parts have been shaded in. So that circle is representing three fourths. So six eighths and three fourths are equivalent. Lastly, let's move on to number four and write out the equivalent fractions being represented here. We will start with the circle on the left. This circle has been divided into one, 
two, three equal parts. So three is the denominator and one part has been shaded in. So one is the numerator. That circle is representing one third. Now for the circle on the right, it's been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equal parts. So nine is the denominator. And then one, two, three parts have been shaded in. So three is our numerator. That circle represents three ninths. So one third and three ninths are equivalent. So there you have it. There's how to find equivalent fractions using models. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.